Tony hiked 250 miles from Illinois to Michigan to follow his family. Bucky walked 500 miles from Virginia to South Carolina to find his owner's home. Bucky walked 500 miles from Virginia to South Carolina to find his owner's home. Bobby the Wonder Dog traveled 2551 miles from Indiana to his master's home in Oregon. Ribuil walked 600 miles home from West Germany to Central France. Ribuil walked 600 miles home from West Germany to Central France. French farm cat travels nine miles to an unknown town to find her owner. Cat travels 140 days home. Cat travels 140 days home. Airedale Terrier crosses the state lines to find home. Airedale Terrier crosses state lines to find home. Dog tracks down owner two miles away in a hospital. Dog tracks down owner two miles away in a hospital. Dog braves the 2011 Toho Cooper earthquake and tsunami to find his master. Parrot tells Vet his name and address and hitched a ride home. Parrot tells Vet his name and address and hitched a ride home. Shelty trekked 23 miles over 16 days in winter to find her original family. A Shelty named Ginny trekked an amazing 16 days and 23 miles in the dead of winter to get back home to her original family. Owned by Bob and Marion Anton, Jiggy lived with two other male Shelties that she didn't seem to get along with well. The Antons figured that she would have a better quality of life with a man who just lost his dog and could offer her a wonderful home where she could be a solo dog and not be aggravated by two others. So, they gave Jiggy to him. But, after just one week at her new home, she ran away. The Antons and Jiggy's adopter searched for her every day, braving snow, ravines, and chilling weather, knowing if they were battling the elements. So was Jiggy. Over the weeks, Jiggy was spotted by over 20 people, but being a timid dog. Then, on January 2, 2014, Jiggy walked into their garage. Her 16-day ordeal was over, and she had made it safely home after her long journey. Despite having lost some weight, she was in good health. Needless to say, her home was with the Antons, and that is where she stayed. Siberian Husky traversed 77 miles in seven days through desert, mountains, and a river. Moon, a Siberian Husky, found her way home to Ely, Nevada, across miles of desert, over the White River, and Ward Mountain ranges. Her owner, Doug Dashiell, had taken his three dogs with him for a weekend trip. As he stopped to let the dogs stretch their legs in Railroad Valley, Moon got free of Dashiell's hold and took off into the distance probably on the trail of a squirrel or rabbit. Although he searched for hours, he turned up no sign of her. Seven days later, a local living not far from Dashiell called him to report his dog had wandered up to his front door. Moon had made it home unscathed, except for the pungent stench of a skunk she had probably chased somewhere between Railroad Valley and Ely. Dashiell had all but given up hope that he would ever see Moon again and speculated she may have might have fed on rabbits during the seven days she was missing. To make it back home in one week, 
the loyal moon traveled a distance of 11 miles each day through very rugged and challenging terrain. The purebred Siberian husky lived up to her breed's reputation of having the best endurance of all domestic dogs. Dog survives for four months on an island after swimming six miles in shark-infested waters. Survivalist Bear Grylls appears a chump in comparison to Sophie Tucker, a black and gray Australian cattle dog, who survived a six-mile swim through water teeming with sharks to the safety of a deserted island. She then survived there for four months by hunting wild goats for sustenance. When Jan Griffith witnessed Sophie fall overboard from her family's yacht during rough seas off the Queensland coastal town of Mackay, she feared her pet had drowned. But the determined dog swam towards remote Saint. Bee's Island, which is inhabited by koalas, goats, and only a handful of people, over five miles from where she entered the water. Months went by, and when the bodies of several young goats were found, investigating wildlife rangers pegged the culprit as a stray cattle dog that no island inhabitants claimed. Word of the dog on the island reached the ears of Miss Griffith and her family, and though it seemed unbelievable, we called her name and she went crazy whimpering and banging on the cage, the waters around the islands are infested with hammerhead and tiger sharks, but miraculously, Sophie had survived her swim and lived as a castaway until she was brought home safe and sound. Jack Russell Terrier rides a ferry across Plymouth Sound, then ran two miles home. Jarvis the Jack Russell stunned his owners after getting lost on a day outing miles from home and finding his way back alone on a ferry. Owner Vivian Oxley watched Jarvis run off into bushes as she visited a Cornish country estate with her two-year-old granddaughter. They searched for him for a few hours, but when it started to get late, decided they would have to return home to Devon without him. Luckily, Mrs. Mrs. Oxley got a call to say a dog like Jarvis had been spotted on the ferry they had taken across Plymouth Sound to reach Cornwall. Minutes later, her puzzled husband, Tony, called her to report that Jarvis had turned up at home, alone, apparently having trotted the two miles from the ferry at Kremel to Devon. Jarvis had actually made it home before his owner and was there to greet her at the door. Persian cat traveled 1,000 miles through the Australian outback to get home. In 1978, the Hicks family of Adelaide, Australia, dropped their pedigree Persian cat off with their parents who lived over 1,000 miles away to be cared for while they took a vacation overseas. Upon returning to retrieve their cat, they were told that he had escaped just two weeks after he had been there and all efforts to find him had been futile. The family was heartbroken and stayed a month in order to search for him, but to no avail. They returned to Adelaide Sands Howie but couldn't bring themselves to get another cat. It just wouldn't have been the same. A year had passed, when one afternoon, they found a miserable looking lint haired cat with a wounded paw, who was filthy and starved. When their daughter, Kirsten, came home from school and saw the cat, she stopped, then ran forward screaming out Howie, Howie. The mother was shocked, could this straggly cat be their pedigree Persian, it was. Over 12 months and 1,000 miles, Howie forded rivers, crossed two tracts of hostile desert, and fought his way through the vast wilderness of the Australian outback. He knew where his home was and neither distance nor danger could keep him from it. Dog finds owner after missing for five years. Anna Carillo never forgot about her Shih Tzu, Prince, whom had been missing for five years. 
since he was initially lost, Mina moved four times, got married, and had two children. If you move four times in five years, it's hard enough for the male to find you, let alone a dog. But that is exactly what Prince did. Carolo came home from work, and there he was after five years, sitting on her front porch. Mina immediately recognized the furry dog, and the dog recognized her. Carolo lived at home, and was not married when she lost Prince. I thought I was seeing something. I just hope no one is playing a prank on me, she said. Irish Terrier crossed the English Channel to fight alongside his master in France. One of the oldest, and probably most well-known, tales of brave dogs traveling many miles to reunite with their masters is one of an Irish Terrier named Prince. In 1914, Private James Brown from Staffordshire, England, was one of the first troops sent to France when war was declared against Germany. Even though Prince was at home with the rest of the family, he was a one-man kind of dog, and he suffered greatly missing his master. One day, he vanished from home. Private Brown's wife was distraught and wrote a letter to her husband letting him know that Prince had gone missing and she feared the worst. However, by the time Private Brown received the letter, Prince had already turned up in France, ready to take on the Germans alongside with his master. Brown's regiment adopted Prince as a mascot, and he remained in France for the rest of the war, often bearing messages between soldiers in the field. Prince's story is one of the most baffling examples of animal travel to this very day. In order to find his way to Brown, he would have had to cross the English Channel, a formidable body of water, the crossing of which experienced swimmers consider a great milestone. In regards to Prince's story, the RSPCA Royal Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals is said to have investigated it thoroughly and established its authenticity beyond doubt, leaving it to stand as the most amazing dog journey in history. Cat travels 200 miles over two months to return home. In early November of 2013, Holly, a four-year-old tortoiseshell cat who'd always lived indoors, bolted from Bonnie and Jacob Richter's camper during a fireworks display near the Daytona Speedway. The Richters had been routinely traveling with Holly over the previous year and were devastated to lose their cat in a virtual sea of over 3,000 campers and motorhomes. After days of searching, they were forced to return home to West Palm Beach, Florida, without their beloved kitty. Fast forward to New Year's Eve 2014. Barb Mazzola, a 52-year-old university executive assistant, noticed a cat barely standing in her backyard in West Palm Beach, struggling even to meow. Mazzola and her family fed the cat and hoped to keep her but did the right thing and took her to the vet for a checkup. A microchip was found, indicating that it was the Richter's missing Holly. Her paws and nails were torn and bloody, indicating a great deal of travel over pavement, and she had lost over six, five pounds. The treating vet felt that Holly traveled all that way over 200 miles herself, and that she certainly hadn't stowed away on a car or with any people. Hey guys, thank you so much for the support and likes and comments down below. And also thank you so much for watching and I look forward to see you in the next video then. Take care. Bye.